show your support. Like, share and subscribe. British guy and welcome to the second part of my Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake playthrough. Now just before we start the gas mask that I managed to pick up on one of my attempts to beat the boss in the previous video and then subsequently lost because I died against the boss and had to redo it, I've just backtracked and obtained that gas mask again just before setting up the recording of the gameplay. So at the end of the first episode I didn't have that gas mask because I didn't bother redoing it, I just went straight to the boss but I have since picked that up. So with that out of the way let's get started. Right, there we go, there's the gas mask. That's the second card that I got from beating the Black Ninja boss. So I should be able to go through here now. Incidentally, that is the room that the gas mask was in, sort of a quick way round, basically. Right. And if you will remember from the last video, we are charged with following a guy in a green beret. The Black Ninja made a point of telling us about 28,000 times to follow a guy with a green, green beret, so that is our main aim for the moment. And he will actually take us to... Oh yeah, there we go. And then down there was where the gas mask was, so we've done that bit. through that door on the left. I don't think I can't go anywhere. Oh, I can! Okay, I made that mistake last time. Let's have a look. We won't be able to get out. Nope. Nope. Okay, that was a waste of time. Nope, that's as high as we can go. Right, okay. Now the guy with the green beret is on level one. And oh, actually, sorry. Before we do that, I'm just going to go back up to level two. Because now I've got the second card, there should be another door on the left hand side that I can go through. Please don't come this way. Don't look this way. Cool. Stay there. people and no one can hear it which is very handy Dots going. come on you can't all just Let 
Let's go and see the guy with the green beret and we can follow him to the place where they're actually holding Dr. Marv. Bit of this now. Oh, it's so much easier now that I've got this suppressor. one way or the other. Thank you. in this jungle, the radar doesn't work anymore, and the screens just end up repeating themselves. So, we have to follow the guy in the green beret in order to work out where we're going. And he is coming around now. This is really annoying because you've got to make sure that he doesn't see you. He keeps looking back. Ow, oh, damn it, you see what I mean? That was a nice clear way through and then it messed up because I walked off screen. And then you can't find your way through. Let's wait here this time. does is 
he occasionally looks back along the path. So you can't follow right behind him, you have to kind of hide around corners. If he does that. And if he sees you, uh, I'm not sure if he runs away or if he just kills you. Because you've got no radar, when he goes off screen, you've got no way of knowing quite where he's walked off to. It can get quite fiddly. He also seems to walk around in a circle. So you shouldn't be able to, yeah, there we go, he's run away. And that puts me right back at the beginning. If I go back through that screen, I can't get through. Ah! Uh. One more. I keep forgetting as well that because it's a, an old game, I keep assuming that their vision is really poor, and it's actually quite good. Annoyingly, on the newer games, obviously, they have sort of a vision code, so you can see whether you're far away enough or at the right angle to be avoid to sort of avoid where they're looking. However, on this, you've just got to kind of hope half the time. Use a bit of common sense. Do my damnedest not to mess it up this time. So what I don't want to do is stray too far from him because what he ends up doing is in some bits running very, very quickly and it's very difficult to then get left behind. By the time you catch up with him, it's very sneaky. By the time you catch up with him, he um, has run off screen. See, I'm back round the beginning again. As I said, he kind of goes round in circles. It's really annoying. It's almost like he knows he's being followed, so he's going in a really stupid way to avoid being followed. Oh! Right. Okay. Here. Okay, we've made it there. Thankfully. Sorry for the uh, repetition there, but that's why I sped through that last bit on the playback because, as you can see, it basically going around a very small area in a really stupid way. So. Let's see what we got in here.
Right. Now, this weird knocking thing, apparently it's some kind of weird code, like Morse code, but I don't think it is. And what he's actually doing there is knocking out certain letters that have a certain value. Like he's knocking out some kind of weird system basically where each amount of knocks pertains to a certain letter that letter is then given a number based on its position in the alphabet I think and basically it if I'm right in thinking gives us a code number that should help us progress through the game. Perfect. Now I would claim to have memorised all of that, but uh, I kind of cheated slightly because the guidebook actually tells you that you will need a certain code in order to progress further with the game because without talking to this person here you're basically stuck in that room and can't progress throughout the rest of the game. They obviously knew that this weird coding system wasn't anything that people would probably be aware of now so that's why they put the code in the book. If you have played the first Metal Gear Solid game it's kind of similar to where they had um, Meryl's code on the actual case on the outside of the disc. Um, it's sort of a more elaborate and cryptic version of that basically. So we were told that Dr. Marv was going to be in this room and we clearly see that he's not. We are being joined by Dr. Madnar and for those of you who haven't played the first Metal Gear game, Dr. Madnar is the guy who was kidnapped and well sorry first he developed the Metal Gear unit and then he was kidnapped and basically ordered to finish it by Big Boss and Out of Heaven. Ah, oh, I see you figured out my code! Where's Dr. Marv? It's been a while eh? Solid Snake? Dr. Draco Petrovich Madnar? How did you... Marv and I knew each other from the Prague Academy. We didn't speak each other's language, but we were scientific comrades. After a fashion, I was captured along with Marv while we were in America. Where's Dr. Marv? He was moved from here to the tower building a few days ago. It's a tall building a few kilometers north of here. Damn it, I'm late again. So Mars in the tower building? Snake, can you guess why they've left me alive? They must need you for something. And that means... Yes, Metal Gear. Snake, it is here in Zanzibar land. They've already completed a new Metal Gear. The one you destroyed three years ago was only a prototype. The new improved Metal Gear is many, many times more powerful. They've also... They're also working on a light version for mass production. Then it was Metal Gear that attacked the nuclear disposal sites? Precisely. Metal Gear is a nuclear-equipped walking tank. Its true power is unleashed only when it is armed with nuclear weapons. Zanzibar Land now has the only nukes in the world, and now they have their sights set on Oilix, a miracle energy source. Snake, now that you know all this, perhaps you can guess who is behind it. Big Boss? The very same! 
With Metal Gear and Oilix, he plots to rule the world. We cannot let the secret of Oilix fall into his hands. Science is not meant to be used only for killing. Marv's will is strong, but his heart is weak. We must hurry. I don't know how long he can withstand their torture. If they use drugs on him, he won't last long. Marv and I were both carrying microtransmitters inside our bodies. They were given to us by a female agent from STB. You could get in touch with her if you knew her frequency. Madnar, what are you going to do? The wall separating us is made of common armor plate. You can't blast your way through. Just leave me here and go rescue Marv. Snake. Alright, I'll come back for you later. Snake. My daughter Ellen is a fan of yours. She's not married yet, and I'm afraid I... Oh, and I have a zoologist friend, Johan Jacobson, who lives around here. You can reach him on 140.40. He'll tell you anything you need to know about animals. Don't worry, I'll make sure you get home in time for your daughter's wedding. Thank you, Snake. Right, so our journey to meet Dr. Marv was basically fruitless, we can't find him. So the STB agent that he mentioned, they are a European secret agent, uh, East European I believe. So we need to now track her down and find out from her how to get in contact with Keo Marv. Before we start, let's contact Johan Jacobson. 40.40. This is Solid Snake. Come in. Why does Foxhound use animals for cold names? Who came up with the idea that animals are so warlike? People, that's who. I just don't get it. Over and out. That was my attempt at a kind of, well, Swedish, I suppose. It's quite bad. If anyone in Sweden is watching this, I apologise wholeheartedly for that terrible accent. I will work on it. Let's see what Campbell has to say. This is Solid Snake. Come in. Remember, you won't always be able to procure supplies. Plan accordingly, over and out. Cool, that's that's helpful. So nothing to do with how to progress further then. Brilliant. Anything more from Mad now? Probably not. This is Sub Snake. Come in. Snake, have you found Marv yet? I don't know how long he can hold out. You have to hurry. Over and out. And for those of you paying special attention, you will have noticed that my beard has just fallen out. Don't worry, it's not witchcraft, I've just had to re-record the end of this video. It got slightly corrupted and I wasn't able to use the end piece, so I've just had to quickly re-record it. So there we go, we have followed the soldier with the green beret. We thought we were meeting Dr. Marv, but in fact we were met by Dr. Madnar and have been charged with hunting down Keo Marv who has been moved to the North Building. So in the next episode we will go hunting for him. As before, please let me know what you think of the playthrough and if you've not experienced the game at all, please let me know your thoughts on it. As I've said before, please keep the comments spoiler free. You won't be ruining anything for me anyway because I have played this game before and I know Metal Gear very well and I just don't want you to spoil it for anyone who isn't aware of the storyline and the characters because I will just delete the comments anyway. But for now I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon, goodbye.